invented in France, but it would open the balls, private, public, uh, throughout Europe from the end of the 17th century until circa 1800s. For example, uh, Edinburgh Assembly rules said that you could dance a minuet after the country dances circa 1790s. So, um, and the second, the, this minuet we are going to do to the tunes that were composed by uh, Italian Francesco Barsanti. Barsanti worked in Edinburgh between 1735 and 1743, and he actually published this particular minuet in Edinburgh in 1742. Uh, the second dance we are going to do is a Strasby minuet. And one of the earliest record of uh, this Strasby minuet is from 1745, when Bonnie Prince Charlie was entertained at Lude House in September 1745. Um, but the record says that the dance was popular in Scotland uh, and until uh, 1800s, and in 1800s it was performed on the stage of Edinburgh Theatre Royale by Mrs. Uh, Parker with uh, two more performers, two more dancers. And interestingly, uh, the, there is a description of uh, a dance for two from George IV balls hosted in Edinburgh in 1822. So after they've done uh, a reels, to, uh, a lady and gentleman in Highland attire did a dance for two. And one of the theories that it could be actually a Strasbourg minuet. And um, we are going to do it to, 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 to two tunes. Um, one of them is from the collections by Nathaniel Gao, who actually played at the ball. And the, the tune that our musicians are going to play is called Brechen Castle. And this is the only mention of the tune that was actually played at the at that balls in uh, Edinburgh Assembly Rooms. And the second tune is um, Mrs. Big's Delight. And it is from a collection um, from 1791, and it actually has a note. This is the tune that Mrs. Parker performed the Strasby Minuet. So um, the steps, this is always this is always difficult, are from two uh, publications. Both are in Scotland now. Uh, first one is by uh, Peacock. He was a dancing master in Aberdeen, and he described Strasby steps in 1805 in his book. And the second publication was an anonymous uh, notebook called uh, Country Dances à Paris 1818, uh, but it's actually all in English and it's all about uh, Scottish dancing. I hope you enjoy it. Mm -hmm.